In today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the best plugins for 3ds Max by Spline Dynamics. These plugins will help you do batch rendering, speed up your texture and workflow, create splines, and many other cool stuff. The first plugin we're gonna take a look at is called Overnight Batch Render, which is a plugin that will help you with the boring rendering process in Max. It will help you when you want to leave your computer with all the rendering operations while you are at work or doing anything else without having to deal with the complicated batch rendering software, and it can process many scene files consecutively on a single machine. Furthermore, together with the batch render tool incorporated with Max, this plugin can manage numerous scene files, several cameras per scene, and even various scene states. Additionally, in order to prevent the rendering pauses, the plugin also offers the option to disable warning messages that often appear while opening or rendering new scenes. Also, it avoids font overwriting and automatically saves renders with blank output file names, meaning that you will never lose a rendered frame again. The next one we're gonna talk about is called Proxy Textures, which is a plugin that can basically automatically create low resolution versions of your textures in order to speed up the work of heavy loaded scenes. This plugin is very useful for artists, especially the ones working with Max as the main rendering software, and this can be done no matter the engine they use. This plugin creates low resolution copies of your textures automatically and in a very spontaneous way, in order for you to speed up the navigation and adjustments on your scenes before launching the final renders, especially when it comes to heavy scenes that contain multiple textures with high resolutions because this always consumes a lot of RAM and makes these heavy scenes very hard to manipulate and work with comfortably. Additionally, the plugin also offers other useful options along the way. For example, you can choose to restore your original textures once you are finished with your file or scene. And the thing that is more appreciated about this plugin is that the whole process doesn't take a lot of time to set, and all the proxy textures are created fast, which depends on the scene at hand and your computer of course, and they are well organized so that you can move them and copy them smoothly. Moving on, we have a plugin called QProxies, which is a powerful generator and manager of render independent proxy geometries for 3ds Max. QProxies does an amazing job of reducing polygon count in a scene, which will automatically result in a quicker workflow, renders, and animations, and it will improve the viewport performance of your scene and dramatically reduce its file size in no time, which is impressive. For me, the best thing is it will boost your productivity and make your work much easier. The plugin has many cool and interesting options. For example, you can manipulate proxies in many ways. You can move, rotate, scale, change their aspect, and add modifiers or animate them easily. Furthermore, the plugin allows you to automatically replace complex animated characters, including the whole rig or simple low poly animated meshes, so you can have them as a reference in your scenes and work comfortably. And you can do this with less memory consumption and a smooth viewport performance. Adding to that, it is compatible with every render engine, meaning that you can import any object or 3D asset into your scene and then optimize it to your liking without having to worry about rendering problems. Spirals is also a plugin that can be used for creating multiple shapes of spirals, from helices to toruses and not splines. It helps you to generate 2D based splines of beautiful and complex forms that can be adjusted mathematically with high end precision to obtain the most accurate shapes for your project. Additionally, thanks to this plugin and all the features it has, you can easily create a lot of different shapes that can take a lot of time when modeled by hand. These shapes include decorations, jewelry, symbols, ornaments, cloth accessories, paths for animation, tentacles, and a lot more. Converting the spline you created into editable splines automatically will give you unlimited options when it comes to modeling spline-based 3D shapes, and when you enable their rendering in the viewport, you will have the chance to convert them into editable polygons or meshes to sculpt further any shape or object that you want to have. The next one we're going to talk about is the Spline Cleaner plugin, which is used as an advanced batch processing tool for cleaning, repairing, and managing spline curves in Max. The plugin offers many options when it comes to spline control. For example, you can select, 
attach, detach, refine and do plenty of other handy operations. And you can use the spline info dialog button to see the different components and details of your curved spline. And you can determine how many splines, segments, vertices it has in addition to the length of the spline which will come in very handy for architects and archivist artists who usually import their base plans and drawings from software such as AutoCAD which usually doesn't come in the most optimized way. This is a powerful time-saving tool that will actually help artists and professionals in various fields such as motion graphics, architecture, animation, in addition to 3D design, game art, VFX, game design, graphic design, as well as industrial design. Another cool plugin on today's list is Spline Combiner, which will help artists that are used to using 2D shapes inside Max as their main 3D modeling software and it is mainly used for editing multiple splines simultaneously, in addition to performing complicated actions and boolean operations between two different shapes. This plugin can also help you perform some simple operations on your splines. For example, it allows you to cut your splines, break them, attach them together, and add many other operations without having to convert them into editable splines or applying any modifiers to them. Other than that, Spline Combiner gives you access to many other useful features too. For example, it supports multiple independent shapes and it can automatically prepare 2D splines for boolean operations, close them, flatten them, and make them coplanar. Spline Combiner overall is just a great tool for artists and professionals working inside Max, especially if their work includes 2D shapes and splines on a daily basis and it is perfect for archvis, animation, motion graphics, and fields that include 3D modeling in general. Another one we're gonna cover is called Subspline, and it is an advanced sub-object selector and material IDs editor for 3ds Max spline shapes. With a simple toggle button, you can easily display the vertex numbers and material IDs for all your selected shapes, and you can take advantage of cutting as tools or spline sub-object selection that complements and extend max standard tools such as shrink and grow selections, in addition to offset selection, dot selection, random selection, and much more. Additionally, the plugin enables you to precisely manage and control the material IDs assigned to your spline curves and their segments. This is extremely useful for controlling materials in spline modeling in addition to hair modeling or procedural modeling plugins such as RailClown. We also have Superhelix, which allows you to animate your objects, characters, or particle systems, and thus by creating bespoke distorted helical patterns with the plugin. You can also create complex items like DNA strands, tornado-like shapes, balls of wool, wires, and complicated knots, among many other stuff. Additionally, this plugin has several amazing features, such as an editable gizmo for simple volume slash flow editing, built-in spline growth animation, and customizable form portions that permit precision control over the final shape. And one of the most important plugins we're going to talk about today is called TurboSplines, which is a plugin that can basically help you create spline-based animations in just a matter of seconds, which is really impressive. The plugin offers a limited ways to create 3D splines from 2D-based shapes, whether you are aiming to create an animation or not, and you can still always get the best out of the plugin. Additionally, the stunning settings that the plugin incorporates provide a lot of flexibility in creating any type of shape or animation that you can think of, and you can choose whether you want to scale your spline or just change its radius. On top of that, Turbo Splines offers other amazing features too. You can turn your splines or 2D shapes into helical forms and paths, which allows you to create spiral cables, ropes, or spring animations very quickly. Turbo Splines is overall an amazing plugin for creating all types of exquisite animations that are originally generated from splines or 2D shapes. In addition to creating and animating all different types of cables, ropes, ribbons, moving tentacles, text and letters, branches, worms, and a lot more. If you are interested in these plugins, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.